Now in the final part of this HTC Desire HD review that I'm doing for MobileMentalism.com uh, I just want to show you some of the apps uh, and give you a walk through those. First of all is the SwiftKey app. Now SwiftKey is brilliant. If you want to use an Android phone, get SwiftKey. Swipe is uh, an alternative that you can use. Basically SwiftKey is a, a virtual keyboard that you see on your screen. So whenever I've been using a keyboard uh, that you've been seeing on the screen, it's SwiftKey that I've been using. It recognizes exactly what you want to type before you even know you want to type it. Absolutely superb. Convinced me, and I've been a QWERTY, physical QWERTY keyboard phone man for years, convinced me that touchscreen smartphones without a physical QWERTY keyboard are absolutely just as good as a physical keyboard. So I won't go back. SwiftKey is absolutely it for me. Swipe I always found wasn't so good. Great if you're actually writing and you're getting into a bit of a rhythm, but as soon as you want to edit something, it's a nightmare to go back and edit it. So if you make any kind of mistake, yeah, didn't really get on with that very well. But SwiftKey works absolutely perfectly. Um, other things that I've noted, Watchtower, this is what I love about Android. This, to me, is why Android is just head and shoulders above the iPhone. Watchtower is a free app that you download that shows you such glorious things as the apps that are running. Okay, so you can see everything that's running all at the same time on your actual mobile phone. You can then go down to the process level. Now, you as a general user probably won't need to use this, but should you ever have problems with your phone, for example, if it suddenly starts running really slow and you're not sure why, well, this will tell you how much memory each different process is using and how much percentage of the CPU it's using. And in this way, if nothing else, you can help to diagnose what's causing the problem. Again, with performance, you can actually see graphs of the way that your phone is using, the memory that it's using, the CPU that it's using, it's just superb. Like I say, free, download, watchtower it's called, brilliant. Um, TripIt, TripAdvisor, lots of different travel things that are there. Now obviously this is just a this is just the stuff that I've downloaded, it's, it's nowhere near the absolute amount that, uh, that's out there. Soundhand and Shazam pretty much do the same thing, listen to music, recognise it, let you buy it. Already seen Springpad in a previous uh, video, so look out for the other videos on the Mobile Mentalism YouTube channel. Um, Seismic is a Twitter thing. What else have we got? Remember the Milk, which is a to-do list, which syncs seamlessly with Remember the Milk, the web app. Um, we have Photoshop Express, Picasa. Uh, Peep is a Twitter utility, Twitter app rather, that comes with the HTC Desire. Um, music. Media Remote, that's another DLNA thing, so that'll help you to control your TV, like, like, like we saw earlier. That's kind of cool as well. Uh, there's Last FM, iMedia Share, another um, DLNA thing. There's quite a few of them I've been downloading recently. Uh, Google Goggles, Get It Done is another to do list app that syncs quite well. Gallery, etc. But I'm quite sure you know that there's one particular app that you really do want to see how well it works, and that, of course, is Angry Birds. So, let's have a look at Angry Birds on the Desire HD, which should give you an indication of the performance from a graphical perspective. Angry Birds clearly isn't a 3D uh, uh, game, but nonetheless it's a game that you might like to have played nice and smoothly. Now if I just do this... So, we can zoom in and out, as you would hope. Let's see... Pull you down, let's see. Now that, as I hope you can see, absolutely beautiful. It's picture perfect, it's completely smooth. There's absolutely no jitter or stutter at all, which is absolutely what you want from a game. So in terms of his game's performance, faultless as well. So let's just come out of here. There we go. So I think that's about it. This concludes the review of the HTC Desire HD. I hope what I've given you is a flavour of what it's like to actually use a Desire HD. Now you might think this is a raving a uh, review and that I've really been going and you know saying, oh it's a brilliant best phone ever. Obviously there are a few flaws with it as there are with any phone and I'll be writing about those in a different post. 
the reason I'm able to write about those is that this is my actual phone. So I'm not just talking about this phone and saying, oh, it's great because HTC sent me it. I actually went out and bought this. So much did I actually love the HTC Desire HD when I played with it that I thought, yep, that's the phone for me. Went out and bought it, used it. Still now, about three months after I first had it, absolutely love it. So I've got to give this uh, a rating, what do you think, nine and a half out of ten, something like that. Have a look at Mobile Mentalism for the final rating that I come up with. But um, I absolutely love this phone. Um, and honestly, if you're looking for a great phone at the moment, go ahead and get the Desire HD. Some brilliant deals out there. Mobile Mentalism covers it in more detail. You'll also be able to find some deals on there.